And it's time to start the game. Faceoff coming up. Armstrong gets the loose puck at center ice. It's loose. The pass is stolen. It gets passed up center. We've got the face-off coming up. With the puck in the slot, he gets hip check. We're going to see a hooking penalty call. Toronto penalty to number 13. Two minutes for hooking. Here's a hook where if you don't get the call, your whole bench and coach gets real upset. That was not subtle use of the stick there, not at all. That'll give you two minutes of thinking time in the box. Horton controls the puck on the bench. 13. Robinson skating with it now in his own zone. At center ice. A fine puck handler. And now the Leafs with it in their own zone. And now the Maple Leafs clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. Robinson gets control of the puck in his own zone. It's anyone's puck. And the Leafs touch up. Icing is the call. What was he thinking on that? When you're on the advantage, you have to make sure you don't get called for icing. He just took the air out of the power play with that move. The Maple Leafs want to win this faceoff and burn the clock on the penalty. It's still five on four. And now the Maple Leafs grab it in the offensive zone. The play broken up. Richard, still in his rookie year. He's with the puck in the neutral zone. And Montreal turns it over. And it's cleared out by the Leafs trying to kill this off. Has it at the point. And Montreal has the puck defensive zone. Canadiens on their first power play. Behind the net. The pass into open ice. Clark gains possession in the defensive zone. And now Toronto in their zone. And now Toronto is able to clear it out. And the penalty over. Five skaters on the ice for both clubs. Shot block. Savard. Armstrong will be coming out as they switch up their defenseman. And Toronto with it now in the attacking zone. Goal! He scores the first goal of the game in front of the home crowd. here it hits the goalie's glove at just the right angle. A nasty deflection there right back into the net instead of back in play. That's just the angle it took. I'll bet he thought he had that one. It all happens so fast sometimes though. There's only so much you can do to prepare for it. The Maple Leafs are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a good feeling. And center ice picked up by the Leafs. He shoots. And the Canadiens pick it up. Toronto's able to grab it at the offensive end. 
Canadian swooping in. He's a tough guy, that's for sure. The Leafs will be getting the call. Oh man, this had to surprise everybody, including the guy that got hit. We hardly ever see this guy hit this hard. Toronto penalty to number six. Two minutes for charging. Randy, let's see the replay on that charging call. You usually know when the ref's gonna blow the whistle. I have a feeling it wasn't a big surprise on that play. No surprise from up here in the box either. The ref had a pretty good view. And for the next two minutes, he'll be getting a great view of the game from the penalty box. Power play coming up. Six. And the Leafs get it out of their zone on the penalty. Okay. Two minutes to charge. Second power play for the Montreal Canadiens. They didn't score on their first. The puck is cleared, and the power play will regroup. The penalty still has a ways to go. Sundin freezes him against the boards. Koivu, and the puck's dumped in. They're on the power play. They'll try and get it set up. Keon able to clear it out of his zone on the penalty kill. And now the Habs in their zone. Toronto regains possession attacking zone. Horton along the boards with the puck. The pass went nowhere. Sundin, it's fed back to the point. Always dangerous. And Montreal over the line. Montreal thought they should get a whistle, but they don't. Koivu now, the pass picked off. Boy, you talked about flat. That's what he was. He got knocked down. The Canadiens still have a two-man advantage on the ice, and they've got a great opportunity here. Weber handles it. From the corner, Mass. Puck back to the point. From Weber to Cornelier. It the save is made. And Toronto gets to it and clears it out of the zone. LaPointe skating with it now in his own zone. And the Canadiens searching for their first goal. Sittler gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Controlling the puck in the defensive zone. It's cleared out. PK doing what they have to out on the ice. Five on four now. One penalty over. Now at center ice. Montreal looking to get on the scoreboard. Montreal coming in. Now Toronto's got it. Now the Canadiens get it back. Looking for a shot. Horton gets control of the puck in his own zone. And the save is made. Good play by the defense to clear that puck. Salming controls the puck on defense. This is a classic shoulder check. I'm not sure he saw it coming. Nailed him right to the ice. The puck's loose. Past the blue line. To the point. And the whistle blows as the puck is tipped up out of play. Randy, unlike in the game of baseball, pucks rarely make their way into the stands. So when a fan gets a grab like that, it's something special. The Canadiens have got themselves a power play. Let's see if they can wind up their offensive machine and get some scoring opportunities here. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. Canadiens, here we go. They love him on the power play. Power play for Montreal. Over to the point. Kennedy picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He feeds it up the left side. Now Toronto into the zone. He deeks. Sittler. Now Montreal's got it. Here we go with Montreal now. Gets the puck loose. Holding it at center ice. The puck is free game. And Cavalry now. And Toronto over the line. And the Canadiens get the puck back. Center ice. Sent back to the point. He fires just right of the post. Nearly hits it. That chance turned aside as the puck gets clear. Salming in now. The defensive line able to change. The Canadiens dump it in. Carboneau comes in as his team changes line. Power, smart play to hold on. And now we're going to have a face off the left side of the net.
And Toronto has the puck defensive zone. They intercept the pass. Leafs leading by one. Slap shot fired. This isn't the biggest hit in the game, but it's a good one. It stopped him in his tracks. Here's Montreal with a breakaway. In the corner, Placanitz. Always have to watch out for him. And Brett McLean with it. Mc Save made. It bounces off the goalie. And Toronto regains the puck on the attack. Here's McLean. Save. He scores. The rebound shot goes in down low. Terrific play here, grabbing the rebound and firing the quick shot back. The goalie almost was able to stop the goal with the right back. That was some quick thinking there to scoop up the rebound and send it right back in. You always have to be ready for those when you're in front of the net, and this time he was. Yep, he knocked it in off his right pad. Good play. Lehman picks up the loose puck, center ice. It's anyone's puck. Ellis. Number 14. In down low, the puck's loose. 10, and the Canadiens searching for their first goal. And it's picked up by Toronto. The play broken up. Here's Koivu. Here's Koivu. McLean now. He's got one goal tonight. And Brett McLean with it. Lehman decides to dump the puck in. Keon gets pinned against the board. And Saku Koivu with it. Montreal trying to get set up again. And the Leafs pick it up. The puck is free game. Any more stick there and he's going water skiing. Taken away by Toronto. The puck is hit up the left side. The Leafs lead by two. And the Leafs pick it up. In the slot, he covers the puck, will have a faceoff. The Maple Leafs switch up their defenseman out on the ice. And it's time to get the action started up again. Now Thomas Caberlet. Sundin is pinning him along the glass. And now the Canadiens will try to bring it in again. Turned over by Montreal. Sundin taken across the blue line by the Leafs. Dryden saved. Going low left side. Nothing doing. Good play by the defense to clear that puck. The pass went nowhere. Sundin has the puck at the point. The pass into open ice. Behind the goal. Richard intercepts the cross ice pass. And Markov now. The puck played up center. And the Canadiens pushing it up. Shoots wide by the right post. Good shoulder check. It's into the corner. Now Toronto's got it. Is this any good or what? This one shook the building. That's how hard the hit was. And Toronto's got a chance to change lines. Bauer digs in at his left side, waiting for the puck to drop. And Montreal with it now in the attacking zone. He can dish the puck, folks. Carboneau, and he shoulder check. Montreal regains possession. Save with his glove. He misses the pass. Lapointe picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Great poke check there to break up the play. Now at the point. Under pressure, fires it hard around the boards. 
Bozak in the corner. The Canadiens steal it. A fine puck handler. The Canadiens turn it over. Carboneau steals away the right side pass. Now Toronto with it again, middle of the rink. And Bozak now. It's hit out. The pass is intercepted. The puck is cleared out. The Canadiens changing on the fly. Horton gets control of the puck in his own zone. The Habs able to get it back. And the Habs across the blue line again. He goes down from the check. In the neutral zone, the Leafs with it. And here's Bozak. And now the Habs in their zone. Montreal looking to get on the scoreboard. And the Canadiens try to regroup. Savard out on the ice now for his team as they're able to make the switch in defensive line. Toronto with a two-goal lead. And here come the Maple Leafs. He decides to center the puck. Savard skating with it now in his own zone. They clear it out. And now Toronto center ice. Toronto moving up. Over to the point. To Horton. It's set up the left side. Some conflict here, Drew. This could be a fight now. Officials out of the way. Landed a jab there. Nailed him good with a quick one. Hits him with the jab. He lands the jab there. Oh, nailed him with a solid hit, and that does it. Officials not letting this go any further. Both sides pretty fired up. Montreal penalty to number 16. Five minutes for fighting. Toronto penalty to number 42. The players get set to face off. Now Montreal's got it. And they clear the puck now. Clark controls the puck on defense. The puck now goes center. Brings up the puck. Just under two minutes in the period. Around back. Stolen by Montreal. Shot brings it over the blue line with just under two minutes to go. Behind the goalie. And Toronto has the puck, defensive zone. He's got the puck at the point. Breakaway, here it is! And Montreal has the puck, defensive zone. Clark through the zone, under a minute to go One in the period. Remaining in the period. Up the left side, and Montreal gets it back in the neutral zone. Richard across the blue line. We're down under a minute now. Robinson dumped in. Boy, he made this one look easy. They're up by two, and he wants to preserve the lead. Nice shot block. The puck is loose. He's with the puck at center. He save. He got it with his shoulder. Has it behind the net. Passed into the corner. Fed out from the corner. He has it along the board. And blocker say, puck deflects away. And the buzzer sounds. The score, two to zero. We've got a moment now for the Geico intermission report. John Schrader is waiting to break things down for us, so let's not keep him waiting any longer as we start the Geico intermission report. Thanks, guys. It's the Geico Intermission Report. Lots of action to talk about. Let's look back at this first period of hockey. Every game in the NHL is a battle, and this one's no different. It's going to come down to who wants it more in the end. Number 13 has been the player to watch in this one. He's been all effort and all hustle, leaving everything out on the ice 
and he's been rewarded with a goal. This has been a tense defensive struggle. Both teams are going to have to work hard for any offense the rest of the way. I wish I could stay, but this Geico intermission report is out of time. At the break, Toronto leads it 2-0. to zero. Now as the game gets back underway, once again, here's Randy and Drew. Okie dokie, ready to start things back up. Thanks, John. We'll hear from you again soon. The Maple Leafs don't need to play risky here in the second period. As we get going now with that two-goal lead, you can bet they won't be sitting back on their laurels, but don't expect their defensemen to take too many chances. It's the second period, and we're just about ready to get this one going. Snags the puck on the faceoff. It power save. That two-goal advantage keeping some distance between the teams right now. And the faceoffs coming up. And Montreal gets possession at the offensive end. Hits off the defender. You've got to love this. Right down to his knees to block the shot. The shot. The shot was wide left as it almost dinged the post. Richard doesn't get away with the charge. The officials saw it all the way. Take a look at the charge he commits here. Oh, take a look at the receiving end of the charge. The coach is not too pleased on that play. Power play, come on. Robinson gains possession in the defensive zone. Dryden keeps his team alive on the penalty kill with a great save. A lot of coaches don't like you stepping up. They let this guy go because he's saved. The shot was labeled top left corner. Stop. Wow. Facing the onslaught of the opposing power play, the goalie manages to keep his wits about him enough to make a brilliant stop and keep the deficit from growing. The Maple Leafs continue with the power play. And Toronto has it at center. He's got a great eye, great stick. Pass from the corner, the pass broken up. Salming. They intercept the pass. Sundin. Toronto power play. It goes to the point. The puck gets picked off. Sundin got contact around back. And now Montreal is able to clear it out. Montreal loses it. And now Toronto trying to get it set up on the power play. Beliveau controls the puck on defense. Time winding down on the penalty, and they clear it out. Salming picks up the loose puck in his own zone. At center. Toronto on the power play. He's in the corner. Is held against the board. Puck back to the point. McLean now. McLean. Play is stopped as the puck gets knocked out. Oh, it looks like somebody's going home with a souvenir tonight, Randy. What a catch. Skaters in position to start up the action. Here's Toronto with it. And here's Cavalier. Cavalier, the defense barely manages to get in the way. The Leafs able to get it back. It's picked off. It's cleared out to neutral ice. And now Toronto with it across the blue line. He shoots. The puck tipped up and out of play into the stand. 
They like to keep the ice just right, and I can tell by the frost accumulating on my nose. For the fans at home, you'll be glad you've got your heaters. It's some frigid conditions down here in the box. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here for this faceoff. Stewart gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. The Canadiens wanted to call, but didn't get it. The pass is intercepted. Kennedy. Holds the puck at center. Now Tyler Bozak. Taken away by Montreal. And the Canadiens searching for their first goal. Stewart gets the loose puck at center ice. Lemaire picks up the loose puck, center ice. Power save. He blocked out the left side there. And it's cleared out. Les Habitants regain possession between the blue lines. Ellis will be part of the offensive line out on the ice for his team. Poivu now. No luck on the pass. Across the blue line. And the Canadiens pick it up. The pass no good. Toronto regains possession between the blue lines. Here's Koivu. A deep move. Save made. He got some lumber out to knock the shot away. Montreal able to grab it at the offensive end. Controlling it around back. The puck is centered. The Leafs steal it. You love having guys that can break up plays like that. Especially when you can turn those same defensive opportunities into offensive. To the point. Turnover, Toronto. He's controlling the puck at center ice. Now, Montreal into the zone. Misses just barely to the left. The pass with no receiver. Horton intercepts the pass going up the right side. Here he comes. He's got a chance. He's a dangerous scorer. He's got it down low. It's hit out. Dryden, save on that shot. He was trying to go high right. Oh, and it's turned away by the post. These guys just keep on gunning. Just about made it a three-goal game, but it hit the post. Another face-off about to commence here shortly, folks. Toronto grabs it. They're on side. Here's Shea Weber. Has it center ice. And here's Weber. And see, he shuts down the great breakaway opportunity. Montreal regains possession, attacking zone. And now the Leafs with it in their own zone. And the Leafs take it away. He's just in his first season. Now the Habs with it again, middle of the rink. Richard out at the point, stolen by Toronto. Oh, a play that he's going to get away with. Had the ref seen this, he might have called it water skiing. Talk about a hooking penalty. And now Toronto in their zone. Toronto with a two-goal lead. It's batted out of play over the glass. They like to keep the ice just right. I can tell by the frost accumulating on my nose. For the fans at home, you'll be glad you've got your heaters. It's some frigid conditions down here in the box. The ref's got the puck in his hand, and he's ready to start things up again. Clark gains possession in the defensive zone. It's picked off. And now Montreal with it across the blue line. The puck's out. He scores! And he pulls his team to within one goal here in the second period. Here's the replay on the attack situation on the goal. And you can see the goalie preparing as he gets into his crouch. When you don't know when or where the shot's coming from, you're at a huge disadvantage. It was a defensive breakdown. The Canadiens 
have done what they wanted to do, convert on scoring chances, get back within one goal, and gain some momentum to pull back and tie this one up before going down the stretch. Let's see what they do with this bit of tie turning their way. The pass broken up. One goal lead for Toronto. Shot. Over the blue line. The centering pass is made. Long and a save. Dryden again with an answer for the shot at center ice. Back to the point. The pass is missed. Cornwallier lowering the lumber with mighty force. But there'll be no trip to the sin bin because the ref is looking the other way. And, and a blocker save. Domi, he gets it. And they blow the whistle as the goalie covers up. And here we go with another draw down there on the ice. Kennedy gets the face off. Guns the slap shot. Nasland has it broken up at the point. And Toronto has it at center. Always dangerous. Taken into the zone by Toronto. Carboneau grabs the puck in the neutral zone. Fans on the shot. And now Toronto touches up. It'll be icing. The Leafs wanted a call. Didn't get it. Skaters often push others away on the ice just to make sure their space is... Save. He takes the shot to the body. Center ice. Now Montreal. Bauer saves the wrist shot. Now the Canadiens get it back, looking for a shot. They were looking for a chance to shoot. Had a good opportunity until the nice poke check. He feeds it up the left side. Has it on the board. He's got a great eye, great stick. Sundin pins him up against the wall. Toronto picks it up already in the zone. The puck comes out of the corner. Now the Maple Leafs get it back, looking for a shot. Took the shot and it never got through the goaltender. These guys are gunning for the two goal lead. They can't get it by the shot blocks. Here's Placanitz. And Montreal dumps it in. And the Leafs pick it up. The puck is hit up the left side. Sundin. Robinson skating with it now in his own zone. And Toronto regains the puck on the attack. Sundin behind the goalkeeper now. It's fed back to the point. Now Thomas Caberle. In deep. He sent Dryden. Saves the shot to the right side. Over to Nasland. The puck gets returned to Carbono. And center ice picked up by the Leafs. He makes the cross. Dryden makes the save. His team down a goal right now. Doesn't want to give up another. Armstrong has the puck. It's sent up the left side. They managed to just get in the way of that shot. That ping you heard was the puck hitting the crossbar. Sundin controlling it in the corner. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. It's shot off the glass. Sent back to the point. Armstrong over to Salming. The defender blocks it. The puck hits him right in the mask. And the whistle blows as the puck is tipped up out of play. Oh, it looks like somebody's going home with a souvenir tonight, Randy. What a catch. Here we go. The face-off to the right of the goaltender. 
gets possession of the loose puck. They get in the way. This is a big time shot clock. Remember, his guys are down by one. And it's picked up by Montreal. Breakaway, here it is! And he gets it. Bauer will hold on for the faceoff. Smart play. Bauer in goal, ready to protect that right side of the net on the faceoff. Richard gets to the loose puck in the attacking zone. Leafs can't hang on to it. The puck tipped away. From the corner, the pass picked off. And Brett McLean with it. He's holding the puck in the neutral zone. It's loose. Now Weber. Now the Maple Leafs get it back, looking for a shot. And now the have center ice. He's tied up, fires it hard around the board. And now the Leafs with it in their own zone. Shot comes in as his team changes lines. Up the left side. Now at center right. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. McLean now. Lehman getting held up along the wall. Almost a hook, at least it looked like it. The whistle blows for offside. And we are just about ready to resume play here. Armstrong collects the puck in the neutral zone. He's got one goal tonight. Shot dumps the puck in. Tangle. Past the blue line, and it's clear. Now the Maple Leafs get it back near the center circle. Harvey takes it past the blue line. We're down under two minutes. And he shoots. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, that one hit the wrong side of the crossbar. Otherwise, these guys are up by two. And now Toronto in their zone. Richard in now. His team changing forward lines. He's a good stick handler. And the Leafs coming in. Drop. Save with the right pad. He's been to the box once tonight. They dump it in. And Toronto has the puck. Defensive zone. Montreal able to grab it at the offensive end. Now Tyler Bozak. Toronto thought they should get a whistle, but they don't. Controlled at center. From Richard. Taken into the zone by the Habs. He shoulder check. Sent into the corner. Richard picks off the pass going into the corner. It's sent up the left side. Richard disrupts the feed up the left side, picking it off. And here's Bozak. Gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. He's got it on the board. Armstrong gets control of the puck in his own zone. Once again, with period two of hockey completed, it's time for the Geico Intermission Report. We've got some time now, so let's give it to John Schrader for the Geico Intermission Report. Randy, I thank you. We've got a smorgasbord of data to go over here on the Geico Intermission Report. And we'll start with the team stats. The Maple Leafs are out battling the other team for the puck at the majority of the draws in this one. And that's enabled them to keep control of the action out there. Look out for any matchup changes from the opposition. Number 14 has been making his presence felt out there. Yes, he's got the one goal, but his impact on the game has been so much more than that. The fans are on the edge of their seats in this one, and they're being treated to some real good action. Not a lot of goals, but high drama nonetheless. 
All right, well, that's about it for this edition of the Geico Intermission Report. Once again, Toronto leads it 2-1. to one. With that, it's time to give things back to Randy and Drew for the action. Fellas. Thanks, John. Great job, buddy. The Canadiens right, skating out now for the face-off to start this third period. One thing has to be on their minds. Don't give up a goal. And it's period three. Players looking ready to go now. Montreal thought they should get a whistle, but they don't. Gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. The pass into open ice. Sundin fed out from the corner. And now the Habs in their zone. The puck doesn't get to the indebted receiver. Player shoots. Fans wide right on the shot. Down low. Stolen by Toronto. And they get it out of their zone. It's clear. Now Toronto's got it. He feeds it up the left side. He takes the big shoulder check. High risk, high reward. You risk missing him when you try for the big impact hitting the neutral zone. He got the big reward with the huge impact. Leaf swooping in. It's goal. They score on the outnumbered attack. But the fence just couldn't stop them. They really overpowered that final line of defense on the goal, Randy. Watch the goalie try to prepare for this one. He drops to the butterfly position, but leaves too much room. The Maple Leafs got what they wanted. A two-goal lead here in the third. If they keep the momentum they have now, it won't be easy to come back against this club. Weber gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He gets shoulder check. Slow. 26. Jumped in by the Maple Leafs. LaPointe gets control of the puck in his own zone. Toronto's able to grab it at the offensive end. And the Canadiens pick it up. This is a good shoulder check. He nailed him into the boards. He's with the puck at center. He brings it past the blue line. Canadiens can't hang on to it. Cornelier, the puck is in the corner. Out of the corner. He makes a centering pass. And the Leafs pick it up. Holding it at center ice. And he shoots. And the Leafs get possession at the offensive end. The distance pass picked off. He's got one goal tonight. With the move. Bauer, blocker save. On the backhand shot attempt. No luck getting that one by. Bauer, save. He gets his body in between the net and the shooter. He gets checked. And Toronto has the puck defensive zone. And here's Caberlet. Richard in for his team. They wanted to make a line change with their forwards, and they get a chance now. Holds him along the wall. He's hip-checked into the boards. Toronto picks it up already in the zone. Controls it deep. It's passed to the point. They intercept the long pass. Horton. The puck is hit up the right side. Richard collects the puck in the neutral zone. The Leafs lead by two. Held along the wall. Behind the net with the puck. Stolen by Montreal. And now the Maple Leafs will try to bring it in again. Turnover, Canadiens. From the corner, no luck on the pass. The long pass intercepted. The puck is hit up the left side. 
He's been to the box once tonight. And it's picked up by Toronto. And the Leafs across the blue line again. Anytime you can knock a guy off his skates, you know you really smoke him. Richard breaks up the pass on the right side. Oh, and they didn't get a penalty there, but Montreal wanted a whistle. This is a good play in the neutral zone. You didn't want to miss him. That's why he let up a little bit. He's still got good body on him. Sundin. Koivu holds him along the board. It's broken up. And now Toronto with it across the blue line. The long pass intercepted. And Saku Koivu with it. Koivu shoots just to the right, nearly hitting the goalpost. Carboneau and his offensive line now as they get some fresh skaters out there changing their forwards. A little deep, the corner. And the Canadiens take it away. Over to the point. And a save. Using it all on this breakaway save. Didn't use the glove, the pads, or the stick. He used his face. He's got it at the point. Harvey, now Andre Markov. Controlled, center ice. And it'll be icing as the Maple Leafs touch up. It's time to throw it back to our friend John Schrader. He's ringside with a report. Tell us what you know, John. Well, Randy, a little while ago I had a word with the head coach of the Maple Leafs. What we can't do, he said, is take our feet off the gas. We've got to play our tails off until that clock says zero. Adding some extra analysis, he stated that they've got to continue playing the game at their pace. And to do that, they've got to do an even better job of controlling the puck. Now, back to the action on the ice. Thank you, John, for that interview. Markov controls the puck on defense. And Toronto with it now in the attacking zone. Shot in now. His line in there as they get fresh forwards out on the ice. Lehman. And here come the Maple Leafs. Here's McLean. Pass from the corner. It goes to the point. The it's saved by Dryden. Ellis. Passed into the corner. Here's McLean. The centering pass. And a save. Try to go high with that shot. No luck. Beliveau with a poke check to break up the play. Toronto needs to get set up again. Save. That shot met up with his pads. Keon down in the corner. The puck returned to Cornwallier. Coach doesn't want a penalty. He's using that stick too much. He gets checked good on that one. Ellis steals the puck on the centering pass. From Ellis to Lehman. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. Beliveau and Toronto gets it back in the neutral zone. To the point. Dryden with the save. He feeds it up the left side. Shot in deep with the puck. Cornwallier, he's got it in the corner. Beliveau shoots, hits off a player. The goalie didn't have to stop that shot. His shot blockers took care of that bullet by dropping to the ice for some quality kneel time. That chance turned aside as the puck gets cleared. Long pass, broken up. Ellis, he's been to the box once tonight. And Montreal, Bauer grabs the shot. Hey, the goalie's just saying, I want my body to be in front of this shot, and he got it right where he wanted it. In the body, off the wrist shot. The he scores! And he pulls his team to within one goal. This third period looks to be heating up. They're in a much better situation now. I love to see a great saucer pass like this one, man. Let's watch it again here. Oh, baby, that was nice. It's one thing when you've got to pass around the defenders, but when you've got to include that vertical element, it's a different art form. Yes, indeed. The Canadiens are right where they wanted to be. 
The fact that they could have been down by a couple of goals late in the third, now they're down only one. They've given themselves a chance to come back and win this game. Nabs the puck on the cross ice feed. Back to the point, taking some heat with the puck center ice. Oh, an invisible play, and I don't know how. He was hooking him all the way down the ice. He's not going to get a penalty because nobody saw it. It's cleared back into the neutral zone. Keon gets the loose puck at center ice. He's got it over the blue line. Richard skating with it now in his own zone. Keon picks up the loose puck, center ice. The Leafs steal it. The puck is centered. One goal game, Montreal trailing. Taken across the blue line by the Canadiens. And a save. One goal lead for Toronto. Keon. Fed out from the corner. Up the left side. Richard. And Montreal brings it back in. Goal! They tie the game here in the third period. This thing's getting exciting, and it just might be headed to OT. A beautiful outlet pass sets it all up. What a play. He feeds the puck up and shows why he's number one in assists for his team. And another assist before the shot helps finish off the play. That's teamwork right there. The Canadiens are showing they will not go away. That's an enormous goal that ties it up here in the third period. Now we'll see if they can carry that forward to a lead. Montreal goal. Scored Salming down. controls the Number puck on defense. Assisted by the puck is directed Number out 16. center. And Toronto Richard. turns it over. And number nine. The pass is missed. McLean now. Richard. He's got At one 13, goal tonight. 35. It's anyone's puck. He gets shoulder checked good on that one. Poibu. He saves it. Shoots wide by the right post. The Maple Leafs get the chance to change up. They wanted to swap D-line. Keon. Plakanitz is coming in as they bring out the scoring line. McLean now. Over to Keon. And Brett McLean with it. The puck goes back to the defenseman. It's sent up the left side. He brings it past the blue line. He decides to center the puck. He's with the puck in the neutral zone. It's into the corner. Placanitz now. Over to Naslin. The puck dumped in. And now the Leafs with it in their own zone. The puck comes out of the... Save with his glove. At center. Back behind the net. Here's McLean. The puck is centered. Dryden saved. The one-timer shut down. Naslin over to Markov. And Thomas Plakanitz with it. Bauer saves it. We've got a tie game here. And Brett McLean with it. The puck is hit up the left side. Keon over in the corner. It's hit out. Save! Oh, baby, if he didn't have shoulder pads on, he'd be broken in two right now. That slapper went right off the shoulder. <laughs> Tie game here in the third. Team's ready for the drop. Robinson gains possession in the defensive zone. Gets his stick on the loose puck. Gets pinned against the boards. The Canadiens steal it. Puck back to the point. It's loose. Sundin picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The pass is stolen. Salming. 
skating with it now in his own zone. The puck is cleared out. And Montreal has the puck defensive zone. Toronto regains possession attacking zone. Savard gets control of the puck in his own zone. He's been to the box once tonight. Montreal loses it. He centers it. It's saved. Another shot. The shot's blocked. Scores right here in the third period. That might be the one to get it done. They're up by a goal. Wow, let's look at this one. I thought he was in position. He thought he was in position, but he just couldn't predict that bounce. That has to be frustrating. When you're in goal, you feel it hit you. For a second, you assume it's just back in play, and it's a clean save. Yep, then reality sinks in. You were close, but close isn't enough. He'll be reliving that one in his head later on. Armstrong grabs Montreal the puck in the neutral zone. Board. Number 16, Henri Richard. Already visited the box Assistant twice. Board. He feeds Number it up the left side. It's passed to the point. The puck gets picked off. Armstrong. The neutral zone. Taken away by Montreal. Here's Shea Weber. Now Toronto's got it. He's got one goal tonight. Controlled at center. Shot grabs the puck in the neutral zone. And here come the Canadiens. And now Toronto in their zone. He deeks it. And the Maple Leafs will have to score quickly. And that's the end of this third period of play. The final score, 4-3. to three. The Canadiens take the one goal victory tonight. Drew, when you sum up the entire game for these guys, what do you notice? Well, you know it takes solid defense to win, but looking at how this team played, I really like the way they came out offensively, and only winning by one goal, it came down to that extra opportunity that they were able to convert. Then defensively, they were able to hold on. That's what tonight's game really came down to. And that is unfortunately the end of tonight's coverage of the National Hockey League on 2K Sports. For Drew Remenda, I'm Randy Hahn. On behalf of all of us, we thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good evening. Here's the third star of the game.